Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to show you my 2020 setup. <clears throat> so for 2020 I will be using these um, three here. So we'll start off with the one in top and you might recognise it from my 2019 kind of recap what I did. So this is my Chic Sparrow and inside I just have an A6 Stalogy. So this is just my personal journal, so I'll just be carrying on with that in um, 2020. So that just lives in there. And then these two will be my main planners for the year. So we have a Hobonichi Weeks here. And that is just inside a grey Motorm cover which I got from AliExpress. And then this is the B6 Giglio Punto in rust. And inside it, it has a B6 Stalogy inside. So if I show you my Hobonichi Weeks first. So like I said, this is the grey um, Motorm cover from AliExpress. And if you want me to do a little review on this, just let me know in the comments and I can do that for you. So I don't have anything in this pocket. I just have some cards here as I do use this as my wallet as well. A little picture and some tabs. In here I just have some washi tape that I need to refill. And then in here is just some cash. So on the front... I just have some note paper and I tend to write shopping lists on here. Things when we run out of, say, bread and milk, I will write that on there. And they are just held on with a small pink Ollie clip. And then on the inside, I have some sticky notes here. Oh. Some little flags in case I need to flag something. I have a sticky note here, which things that we need to get soon. And then I've got a picture of me and my husband. And then in the little pocket, I've got a picture of me and my children. I've just got a journaling card, a little colour coding key, which I will show you where I use that. A little die cut, which I can't remember where from. And these are from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then in the yearly overview, I will just be crossing off the months as they kind of pass. And I've got another little picture here. Then this spread I am using to track my health. So most of this planner is health related and wellness related, except the monthly. Um, so here I'm tracking kind of my cycle, I'm tracking my weight, that kind of thing. And then we get to the monthlies. So my monthlies are my pre-planning. So it's used in conjunction with this as I won't have all the months in here. So you can see my colour coding system going on for my children just to make their things stand out a little bit more. And then everything for kind of me or everybody is just in black pen. I've done a little bit of decoration too. I have these little tabs from Martha Plans. So I have kind of decorated the all of the months just so that it's done. I made these little stickers myself. You can see I'm using post-its on some months for important information. Um, and the months do go all the way until next March. And then the week starts. So I didn't use this first week, but I have used it since then and I am really liking it. So I have had to cover up a few things, but generally on this weekly side, I just write kind of symptoms I'm having, how I'm feeling, how we've slept, that kind of thing. In this column here, I am writing my meals and what I'm eating. Up the top, I am made a little tracker. So I'm tracking caffeine. There's also water up there. These things if I'm eating gluten and dairy as I find that they affect me. And then little notes down here as well. 
and I am just decorating with a little bit of washi or a few stickers so this is the next week and I actually had to use a sticky note for my meals because I wrote um, kind of in the space so we've got those I was also tracking water here, which are these droplets. Um, and then this water here is kind of if I reach my aim for the day of two litres, which doesn't happen very often. Need to work on that. Um, then I switched to these little water stickers. I've got some little motivational quotes in there. And then this one, I use some stickers for the days. These are from Blossom Nose Co. These are in the back, so I shall let you know who they're from um, when we get there. So that is it, I haven't covered up anything from this week, but that is how I'm just planning on using this. Again, I've got another little tab, and then this is how it looks blank. Um, I might change up the layout, but right now I am really enjoying kind of having this side and then meals down here and then a tracker and other little notes. So we've got the whole of the year there and then there is the notes section. So as this is my wallet, I've got kind of to buy things and things like that too. So we've just got a little note here for my um, husband's birthday that's coming up. Some things that my daughter needs for nursery, a general to buy list. And then I've got an Ikea list for when we go there. And I've just got a little tab that I've labeled with my label maker. Here I wondered about putting a little spending tracker in there, so I've just got a note for that. Then I have a little health log, so just weight and measurements really. And a little tab. Then I've got um, for one for doctor's appointments, um, nail vanishes that I want to buy, just so that I can have it with me just in case I don't have this. And then a place to write affirmations and a place for quotes. So the rest of these notes will just kind of be anything health related or anything to buy. And then this little My 100 section, I've just got a little note for books to read or favourite films or goals. I'm still not sure what I'm going to use that for. So if you've got any ideas, let me know. And that is it. I've just got some sticky notes in the back and a little picture, some more little cards. And these are the stickers, I had to cut them down. And I've got some little tablet stickers too, and then the days. And they just live in there. This pen is just a ballpoint pen from Paper Chase, which I think is really nice. So I just um, clip that in there. And that is my Hobonichi Health Wellness. So next up we have my Apunto. So this is a B6 Giglio Apunto in Rust. And I am still really, really loving this and how it's aging and it's just beautiful. So this is what it looks like when you open it. Sorry for the glare up there. So it's very similar to how I had it set up last time. I've just got a little picture in here, some sticky notes, some more pictures up here, um, some little die cuts. I've got the Wi-Fi password there just in case I need it, some more flags and then some sticky notes. In here I've just got a little card so I thought it was pretty and then a few little stickers that I want to use. So these are from Blossom Nose Co and then these ones are Madison Fox. And then I've just popped some scrapbook paper down because I don't like the grey um, Stalogy paper what's on the cover. And if you watched my setup video, you will notice that I have added a couple of die cuts and stickers and things like that. Up here, I've just got a little vellum hello and then a little label because I need to make another um, tab. I've got some star acetate here and then just my picture of a ch my children, a little sticker. Again, some more scrapbook paper. These sticky notes never stay on, which is really annoying. And then I have my inbox. So I just kind of write on this things that come to mind that I want to do or need to get. And then I've just got a couple of other little ideas on sticky notes. And then I have a little transparent sticky note. 
just with lists. So this might be some lists that I want to make or have made and I'm just crossing them off as I'm doing that. Then we've got a little cover page and my little key. So I just use a dot for a task. I tick it when I complete it because a cross to me means that I haven't done it. Um, so I much prefer using a tick. I've got a little arrow to migrate it forward. I very, very rarely use the back arrow, so I didn't even put it in. A cross is not relevant anymore, or I sometimes do cross it out. And then a note is a little dash and something special or a memory is kind of a heart. I have my index page. So when I first set this up, I had both of them as an index page. But as you can see, I still haven't even used one. So I turned this one into my monthly review and weekly page, things that I want to do every week and every month to keep on top of my system. I'm not too sure what I'll do with this page, if I'll leave it as an index or just cover it up. I'm not too sure yet. Then I have my yearly overview. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. And I like it because it's got the weeks of the year too, so you can kind of see exactly where you're at. Then I have goals. Um, a few little goals down there and then we get into my January so this is a printable from SM Plans I've just got a little sticker and some washi tape these are just sticky notes and notes that I wanted to remember for later on in the year or this is a current project that I'm working on so I haven't yet set up a page for that so I've just got it there I've got a little snowman on my snowman vellum and then this is monthly to-dos, monthly YouTube videos, and a monthly mind sweep, all for January. I have a gratitude page and a memories page. I need to fill those out. And then I have my January spread. So these boxes are six by six, and then this one is six by five, just so that it'll fit on. I've got a little sticker here of February, just so that I can see the dates if I need to, and I am crossing them off as we go. I've just tabbed that too for easy reference. Then here I have my tracker. So I've just got cleaning things at the top and then things for my children at the bottom. And then we get into my weekly page. So I've just kept it very simple for the first week. I've just got a week on one page, a little task tracker up here, meals, and then a next week section. And then these are my first two pages so I started on December 30th as it was the beginning of the week so I've just got a to-do list here some a timed section and then some notes at the bottom for Tuesday it was New Year's Eve so I've got a little to-do section up at the top notes at the bottom I do have more under the sticky note too and then a sticky note because we've all been um, a little bit poorly so I've just got a medicine tracker there for my littlest boy and then Wednesday and Thursday, again, just a to-do list at the top, a little sticker. This was printed off using that um, foam memo printer, what I showed a couple of videos ago. Then I, another medicine tracker here. And then important events at the top, to-do's, a little picture, and then just some notes at the bottom. So I'm just using a little bit of washi to decorate, a few little stickers here and there. So I'll be printing a few pictures off every now and again. Um, my husband started a new job, so that's why we've got a little picture there. Then Friday, again, just washi tape and stickers, to-do list here, and then notes at the bottom. I've got my little page marker with um, my tabs on. So these things that are tabbed, I think there's, yeah. These things that are tabbed, um, I still need to do them and I haven't migrated them forward yet. So that's just to, so that I can see them easily. And then we have Saturday, so I've just got a little to-do list and a to-buy list at the bottom. And then Sunday I've got a few things written on a sticky note with my daughter's times tables. And then a weekly review page. Then I have a wish list page. And this page is just going to be for washi tape, little scraps that I don't use. Then we have a YouTube tracker. I've got little notes here. I've got Instagram, um, a little Instagram tracker and then some ideas. I've got a little Etsy page. So this is for my shop. So I've got ideas up here. I've got little sketches here of things that I might be doing soon. And then I fancied a 
a YouTube monthly page so I can see exactly when I'm posting. So I'm just going to write down the videos as I do them. I might do February on this side too, just so that there's a couple months together. And then this is how I am setting up this next week. So I thought I would try a different weekly layout. So I've just got that in pencil and then I'm going to um, fill that out. And then I've just got a few little stickers that I wanted to use for that week too. So I've just popped those in there so I don't forget. Then in the back, I've got a, another inbox sheet. And I've just got the date dots. So these are from Daisy and Divine. And that's where the um, water stickers were from in here. So I've just got those in there for when I have to set up my next monthly. I've just got some more pictures, some more of those sticky notes. In here I've just got a some little note paper, a little bookmark and then some more little stickers from Madison Fox. I had those in there last year too. In here I have some stamps. Again I've got scrapbook paper on here just to cover it up. I've got me and my picture of me and my husband up there and then a little die cut. Um, this is from AliExpress, you get like a giant pack. I have some acetate and then some sticky notes and then this is I decided to use these back pages for my children so I haven't wrote on them yet I've just popped loads of sticky notes down as it just seemed a bit easier um but I've got kind of important you know important things that happened here I've got gift ideas for their birthday and then for my son I've got a little weight tracker down there and that's for all of them, my little girl drew a picture, um, a little rainbow, so she wanted me to stick that in. In here on this one, I also have some school information. And then here for my husband, um, he's got a few little pages. So I've just got some birthday ideas here with a little flag as his birthday is this month. And then a little wish list. So if he ever mentioned anything that he wanted, I could just write that down and remember because my memory is shocking. And that is it. The rest is all blank and I'm really enjoying how slim it is right now and it just feels really nice and new and fresh and I like it. I've changed my pen. So my husband actually got me this for Christmas and it's the Sarasa Dry in point four and it's really, really nice. It dries super, super quickly and I think this might be one of my all time favorite pens. I do want to try a fountain pen but I think because this dries so quickly, I'm not sure if I will like it or not. Um, so yeah, I might try that out. We shall see. So that is my 2020 system. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I'll, of course, keep you updated. And I'm going to do monthly flips like I did before. If you want to see... Um, a review of this cover just let me know and I can do that too so that is everything thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye